Hi there everyone, this is Mario from M Studio, and welcome to a new episode of Learning to Go. Today in the menu we have a very quick but quintessential tip. Use object buffers from Cinema 4D or any other source in Photoshop. You can also use this trick with black and white logos, but we will get there. Object buffers are actually black and white versions of an image, where all that is white is supposed to be visible and what is black should be transparent. To use them in Photoshop is extremely easy, but I was surprised to discover that only a few people knew this trick. So, I will disclose it to you for... One million dollars! <coughs> Alright. If you guess the title of this movie, set it in the comment and I'll seriously give you a price. Let's go back to our tutorial and we will take this terrifying dinosaur as an example. I have this image and the black and white luma mat or object buffer. Just select it all and then click on copy. Go back to the other version and click here to create a mask. Hold then the ALT or OPTION key and click the thumbnail of the mask. Done? Now click on PASTE. Click back to the layers thumbnail and you know what? That's it! <laughs> super useful and super easy. As I said, you can also use this trick with black and white logos. Let's say you have this, black and white and you want to remove all the white and make it transparent. Select all, copy, create a mask, hold alt or option and click the thumbnail of the mask, paste and to make it look like the object buffer was, you have to invert the colors. Hold control or command I and click back to the layers thumbnail. Done! <laughs> Magic, huh? <laughs> we are even earlier than usually done for today, remember to subscribe to my channel to be the first to know when a new tutorial is out, you can find me on Facebook and Twitter and this is Mario from M Studio. and I think that if I'll see you again, it's probably gonna be next time, ciao!